Today we got a special video because it's gonna be a double feature. Boom! I got a couple of casual shoes that I love wearing that are so comfy, so let's get started. Y'all ready for this? I've got two pairs of shoes that we're gonna be reviewing today that are casual wear for me. I rarely buy shoes. Actually, these shoes are kind of an inspiration for this channel because it's such a, it's such a depressing landscape when you're trying to find shoes for big feet. My feet are typically around the 18 range, but there are some times where I find a 17 that fits great. Um, so I would say I'm, I'm like between 17 to 18, um, but there's not a lot of options for people with feet like this. But I think I may have some solutions for you guys. Shit, where did I get these? So first up, boom, we have some super comfy shoes that I have fallen in love with. You may see that they're a little dirty, and I'm sorry if that's the case. I got too excited and I couldn't not wear them. I wanted to show you, you guys some clean shoes, uh, but I love these things. I love slip-ons. They're just, for me, they're perfect. I, I love being able to just, boom, foot's in there, boom, foot's out. Make that noise, boom, boom. These things are super, super comfy. I'm pretty sure I got them on oddball.com. Um, it's one of my big shoe websites that I frequent whenever I am looking for shoes. Um, but I can't quite remember. I can't find my order for some reason, and so I don't know where these poor guys came from. Sorry, buds. Anyways, love these shoes. Nice, thick, rubber outside. They're super durable and a nice underside so that they're not gonna slip. You ain't slipping with these bad boys on. They are, I mean, they're kind of designed like a boat shoe, you know, but slip on and they're Vans. And so I love Vans. Uh, I was never able to wear them as a child because they didn't make them in my size, but Looks like the world's kind of catching up to Big Feet, and I really appreciate this. So, they have a lot of different styles on there. Um, I went with the gray and white because I love that color scheme. You know, grayish and blackish tones are kind of my go-to. And these things, I think they look pretty clean, right? I'm pretty happy with these. One thing to keep in note, when I bought these things, uh, they did not have size 18, which is normally my go-to size. These are 17s. And I'm really happy with how they fit, actually. Uh, I kind of like that they're a little bit more snug, and that feels really good to me. The good thing about a lot of these big shoe websites, they have easy return policies. Like, you can get it back super, super easy to them and quick. You might take a look at ordering a size down. A lot of times, they'll have size guides on there. To put it in perspective on if it'll fit your foot, let's take a look at the measurements of the roughly how long it is. And now, this is obviously going to be a little bit different for the inside. But I want you to kind of be able to get your hands on them without actually getting hands on them. You know what I mean? From where the heel stops, to the toe, about 13 and a half inches total. <sighs> I keep dropping it. About 13 and a half inches total long. Now, the width is a thing that a lot of people may struggle with because these are not super wide shoes. At the ball of the foot, almost five inches wide. 13 and a half inches long, almost five inches wide for a bit of a narrow foot. I mean, that's still pretty wide. Um, but just so you know, this is what their size 17 runs. So go pick yourself a pair up. These are like 50 bucks. That's why they're so amazing for big feet because big shoes usually cost a lot. But 50 bucks for a pair of these things and they're super comfy and you can wear them every day. I mean, you can wear there's. You can wear these with shorts. You can wear them with pants. Uh, they're super versatile and they're super compact. Like these, don't, these things don't take up a lot of room. So, love these things, go get you a pair. Next up, check out these bad boys. Isn't that a nice shoe? That's a nice, casual leather shoe. Um, these are Dunham's, and these do come in a bit higher than normal. Really, these come in at kind of what you would expect to pay for a big shoe, about 130 bucks for this pair. And you can probably catch them on sale. I got mine on Nordstrom.com. It's where I got the Steve Madden shoes that I did the review on as well. These came in the same order. Uh, I just wanted to showcase them in a different video because these are a more casual wear. These go fantastic with jeans. They can be a business casual slacks. These can potentially go with shorts if you have the right kind of shorts. Probably not cargo shorts like I like to wear, but they still look good anyways. These have, these have next to no tread. So careful out there. Don't slip. Super, super durable rubber bottoms. Um, and then also this leather feels good. This is a nice, soft, real leather. And I love these, 
thick shoestrings because when I buy shoes, I need them to last. And that's something that you, a lot of shoes, like if you don't put a little bit of extra money into it, sometimes they're not going to. But I need things that are gonna last, I need things that are gonna look good, and then I need things that are gonna be comfortable. And for big feet, that's a necessity and they're not easy to find. Also, so to give you a frame reference for the size, uh, these came in at size 18, which is normally what I wear. It's so hit or miss, it's tough to say, but these came in and they fit like a dream. I really like these things, but I wanna give you measurements on these as well um, so that you can measure your own foot and see, hey, will these things be a good fit or not? These come in from the heel all the way to the toe at about 13 and a half inches, which is really interesting because that's how long the Vans were and those are 17s. And that's a prime example why they need to put better size guides on these actual websites because two shoes, exact same measurement on the length, two different sizes. I hate that. That's why I wanna do these videos for y'all so you don't have to waste time and I can do it for you. The width on these things is just under five inches, exact same as the Vans. Isn't that fascinating? But these are size 18, these are size 17, and it just goes to show that no one knows what they're doing when it comes to sizing shoes. I've had enough. Nordstrom.com, I'll put the link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on them as well. Thank you all so much for watching. It's really been awesome having you here and the support that I've already received. And I wanna make sure that I'm covering things that y'all are interested in, so please feel free to leave, leave comments. Hit me up with the email below, freakytallreviews at gmail.com, and I'll check that and the comments daily just to see your suggestions and what you wanna see. I'd love it if you've subscribed and liked this video. I'm gonna be releasing at least one video a week, and I'm gonna to try to come up with an actual schedule that we have expectations on when those would come out. Uh, but as I get more suggestions, you'll get more videos, so feel free to hit me up at any time. So thanks so much for joining. I'm Corey from Freaky Tall Reviews. Until next time. <laughs>